What's up, folks? Aaron with Gideon's Tactical, Tim with Everyday Tactical Vids, and Boris from Steel Will. We got a sweet video for you today here at SHOT Show. You do not want to miss it. Let's jump to it. All right, so why don't you talk us through these fixed plays over here, what we got going on? Sure. So a lot of stuff coming out from Steel Will Knives for 2017. Um, these right here are all coming out in the springtime, March, April. These are the Roamers. Uh, Roamers are uh, TPE handles. Uh, they're going to come in D2 or 9CR steel. Really versatile knives. The TPE makes it really soft to the touch, uh, very grippy, uh, really good ergonomics on these knives. And the TPE actually absorbs a lot of the vibration, so it reduces hand fatigue. But these knives are going to be between $60 and $70 MSRP. They're going to come with uh, form-fitted nylon sheaths. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, whether it's going to be a knife like this, which is going to be excellent for food prep or processing fish or something like this, which is a uh, black uh, coated D2, uh, excellent survival knife, uh, or something like this, which is a traditional clip point, um, excellent hunting knife. There's a pretty large diversity within the range at re really good price points uh, in a really versatile package. And you're going to be doing some in D2 and some in 9CR, right? Yeah, so the ones that are more for food prep or for processing fish, those need to be a little bit more stainless. Right. Uh, so the stainless steel on here is 9CR. And those that are made more for survival and outdoor use, those are going to be in the, in the, in the coated D2. Okay, great. And then I see we got some folders over here. Yeah. So we're really excited to be introducing the, the uh, Cut Jack series here. The Cut Jack is going to come in four different versions. So we're going to have the FRN and uh, D2 version and then we're gonna have the FRN D2 mini version so three and a half inch blade three inch blade and these are gonna come in at MSRP $49.99 and $44.99 so really good price points on a knife that has super ergonomics it's got a nice finger choil on it for choking up on that blade and intricate work um, and a really uh, well put together package so really good action really smooth knives um, and then we have the more premium Italian versions of the same knives. So these are M390 steel, stainless steel bull bearings, G10. Uh, and for these knives, considering all the materials and everything, they're very, you know, it's, it's got a really, really good steel on it. It's going to be $179. Um, and it's virtually the same knife by design, but the materials, like I said, are different. And it's a little bit heavier because of the G10. So those people looking for uh, a really lightweight option, are probably going to gravitate more towards the FRN D2 version. Uh, and the fourth version is the mini versions of the Italian cut jacks. So three inch blade and um, although what you see here is a tan version, at launch we're going to have the black and a blue version from the uh, Italian line. So that's the cut jacks and we're, you know, again, we're really excited to be putting out these kind of uh, really good value EDC uh, folding knives. All right, so now you got some karambits and yep. you had mentioned that I think the sensors were so popular, but people were saying we want a karambit style. Yeah, I mean, you know, karambits have been really popular. Um, everyone's been asking us for them, so we decided to introduce the sensor karambit uh, version. These knives have the same pistol grip as the rest of our sensor series, but now we have that uh, that finger ring uh, and the karambit style. These come in satin, black coated, and serrated and not serrated versions. Uh, we do have our own proprietary serration pattern pattern on here. Uh, that's another thing that we're introducing here at Shot Show. Uh, and uh, you know the, the way that the serrations work, it's got smaller, the smallest um, uh, smallest groove to the medium groove to the largest groove, and that just has a really good bite in for first responders who are cutting seat belts. Uh, it bites in and uh, it, you know it, it has a really efficient um, uh, draw when it's cutting through seat belt or rope or anything else. So we quickly jumped on this. We applied it to some of our new models and we're also going to be retrofitting it into existing models as well. So we're excited about this. We're also going to be uh, we're toying with the idea of uh, providing different colored handles, handle scales on the sensor series. So for those individuals wanting to accessorize or individualize uh, their knives, uh, we're going to be offering something like this in the near future in different colors. Can I, I know, there's some other knives here, but I, I want to hear about the gentlemen's folders. I'm really excited about those guys. Yeah, so, uh, you know, uh, again, we're trying to put out really good value folding knives to a wide demographic of, of buyers. Um, uh, gentlemen's folders or elegant folders, you know, something that you can wear with a suit um, is, is, is a, definitely a concentration of ours for 2017. So we have these three knives here. And uh, 
These three knives are going to be coming out in three colors at launch, and we might spin them off into more colors in the future. And they'll also be introduced with our patent pending ant lock system, and I'll get a little bit more into that uh, later. Um, another version of the, our folding knives are going to be these right here. And these are going to come in a different couple of different versions. This one is uh, anodized aluminum with this milled texture on it. And the second version is a titanium frame lock with carbon fiber. And both have these blue standoffs in the back. So really, you know, nice looking, elegant knives. Um, you know, just to give you an idea, although we haven't solidified our pricing yet, this knife here, which is titanium, uh, it's going to come in D2 and carbon fiber should come in at around $99 retail price. So we're trying to you know, put out stuff that's a really good value to the buyers, really good designs, uh, really good everyday carry, functional, and uh, at good price points. All right, we got a couple other folders down here. Let's take this one out of the way for now, maybe these two out of the way for now. We'll come back to those. This is one of your, I mean, you like them all, but you yeah. said this is one of your favorite models that we're about to look at. Yeah, I mean, my own personal preference, yes. Uh, these are codenamed Folder 25. We'll have names for all of these prototypes very soon. Folder 25, these two are going to be Italian. Uh, M390 steel, carbon fiber. It's got that nice orange uh, backspacer. And the second version is a G10 version, also with that, with that, green, uh, uh, that green color hue in the back. Uh, to give it a little bit more flair. But really nice looking knives, extremely ergonomic. It just feels right in the hand. The jimping, uh, the thumb ramp, uh, and the overall feel is really, really spot on for not only you know hands that are medium size like mine, but larger hands as well. And these knives are gonna be coming out in a couple of different versions. So there's also gonna be a FRN uh, with D2 version for those people who don't wanna spend $160 or $170 or whatever on a folding knife they'll be able to spend $70 MSRP, for example, and get a knife with the same aesthetics, the same functionality, uh, and the same ergonomics as this knife. All right. This lock system that you showed us before, it's got some very unique features. There are lots of different locking mechanisms out there, but this is brand new and yeah. proprietary to you. Yes. All yeah. right, let's hear about that one. So this is the biggest news for us from tw for 2017. We've innovated a new patent pending locking system called the Ant Lock. Uh, these two knives here feature it and it will be coming out in the summertime or early fall. So the way that the lock works and what makes this lock special, first of all, uh, unlike other locks where maybe you have to use two fingers to actuate the lock, this is a, an entirely one-fingered affair. I'm a lefty uh, and obviously this is an ambidextrous system, uh, but one finger, okay, and uh, open close or just close. The lock is, is, is actuated only with one finger. But what makes this lock really special is that the entire system bears all the pressure and all the load right here in the pivot area. What that means for us is that we can construct folding knives that are completely devoid of any liners. There are no steel liners on this knife, nor are there liners on this knife. Um, these knives are uh, you know, pretty, pretty thick G10 scales on them, and they're extremely lightweight knives, considering that it's G10, which is a fairly heavy material. Uh, the, the, the lack of liners on knives like this will, uh, will give us a lot of flexibility in designing new knives going forward, uh, making really lightweight knives and making really small knives. Um, and the ant lock is such a small system that it can be fit on very petite knives as well, which gives us you know, added flexibility in creating EDC, uh, lightweight and small knives. So yeah, adding to the diversity in our lineup, we have a couple of more folding everyday carry knives. Uh, something like this, maybe a little bit more tactically inspired, uh, Folder 30 here. Uh, this is also gonna be very reasonably priced when it comes out. Uh, D2 Steel, G10, it's gonna come out at around that $60 mark. Uh, this one also, this is a milled uh, anodized aluminum uh, folding knife. Um, and you know, it's also gonna be priced really well, really smooth knife. Um, so, you know, within the lineup, itself, there's something for a large variety of buyers and all in the wheelhouse of between $50 and $80. Um, it makes the brand access, uh, accessible to a large variety of customers and we, you know, our mission is to put our stuff in everyone's hands and not alienate anyone. So we'll have knives that are uh, in that $60, $70 range and for those people who can't afford it, we'll have that premium souped up steel, that M390 steel. Uh, where if somebody's looking for that kind of knife, they can get that as well. 
uh, even the knives that are going to have the M390 steel, they're still going to be at really compelling price points. All right, guys. So here's the deal. We joked around that it looks like all we're going to be reviewing for all of 2017 <laughs> is still will. There, there's so many so cool much. knives. We're like really pumped about right. that. And we do have a cool little kind of project that we're going to be working on together. Aaron's going to tell you about that now. Yeah, so we were talking about this last year, and we're going to start doing it here in 2017 at some point, where Tim and I both have the same knife. We'll be testing it about the same time, and then we'll be posting it and just kind of cross-pollinating within like a week of each other. You know, so he'll be testing stuff, and you'll get his point of view. I'll be testing it, and you'll be getting my point of view. So you guys can kind of weigh, you know, what connects with me, what aspects maybe do I need, and you'll be able to see it from two different points of view. So we're really excited to do that for you guys, the viewers. So that's it. Cool. Show 2017 Steel Wheel. It has been a lot of fun to be at this booth. Yeah. We're, we're tired a long for the day, time, but, but yeah, but it's pumped, awesome. Yeah, pumped about this. Later. Right, see you guys soon.